Hey everybody, welcome back. This is uh, Steve Got It Pool here. Uh, we're just rocking in here on this new pool that we just built. And uh, we're gonna measure it for uh, AB safety. Well, I'm sorry about uh, throwing in the ABs. We're gonna me AB measure the pool for a safety cover. And we have an obstruction, uh, this nice dive rock here. Um, it's kind of cool. They put the dive rock off to the side. Typically, you know, you see them centering the dive board, uh, but it looks like a piece of marble that was cut. Came out pretty sharp. They probably just glued it down to the patio. They got a nice retaining wall here. You know, they're probably going to do some some stone or some plants. And they got a little drain drain stub up here so they can put a little drainage there. And, uh, you know, this, this nice serpentine shape retaining wall. And uh, so, you know, basically, it's an, you guys can tell they got a shed pad over off to the side there. They're going to put a shed there. And, uh, you know, these customers are going to be happy. They got a nice little pool here. So what, what I'm here to do is to AB measure, and I want to show you how I do that step by step. I'm one person, and I'm going to show you how one person can measure this pool for a safety cover. So I have a bucket here that I'm going to fill up with water. Just kind of dip it into the pool. Fill it up all the way. Now I'm going to look for a spot, we're going to be making our A point right here and I'm going to be looking for a spot for a straight line going that direction and I want to make sure that my straight line does not interfere or intersect with the pool. Okay, so I like this little crack here that's in the concrete where they did the saw cut. So I'm going to slide my little rebar down, that's my A point. So what I'm going to do now. Slide my tape measure back in there. I'm gonna measure over. I'm gonna grab some chalk out of my po out of my pocket here, and I'm gonna pick a measurement. Now this crack right here is kind of nice, so I'd like to kind of get my mark in there. So if I kind of swing it, like I'm I'm looking at point twenty three, and of course it makes me think of Michael Jordan every time. But I think what I can do is I can swing this tape measure so that point tw so that 23 is right here. And what I'll do is I'll make a mark right there. So when I come back and I have to put my B point, that's my B point. All right. So now the next step is to actually go around the pool and make some points. These are points that I have to measure to. I have to measure from point from point one, from A to one, A to two. So that's what we're gonna go around. And we're gonna go make that number one. And I like these saw cuts on the patio. I can kind of use them as little reference guides. And, uh, you know, I just wanna point one thing out as I'm making my points, you know, the. The actual pool wall itself is not here. This is a cantilever edge patio, so the patio overextends the pool very slightly, just about an inch or so. But you can see the little line that they make from the concrete form as I rub my hand across right here. So I know that the pool wall is right there. So when I'm making my marks, I'm doing the same thing. The chalk might be doing some funny things on that one, but as we're moving along, you'll see that that's where I'm drawing my line to make my point. And you number them all. And basically what they'll do is they'll take these not these points, they'll draw them into the computer, and basically take the original print of the pool and they'll inlay it into the print that, that they drew up from my drawing and kind of inlay the pool into that area. So here we have a, a sharp radius. So I'm gonna kind of do a couple more points in this area than I would normally. Keep them a little closer together. So that way they're able to draw that shape without issue. Now, so we're coming off of that. 
we're on another radius here so I'm gonna probably do a couple more points so that that radius shapes up good we'll call we'll keep, keep numbering them all right so now we're gonna draw one here now if you like playing bingo um, if you like numbers if you like hearing numbers you're gonna enjoy watching me go around reading and writing my numbers um, sometimes I get pretty quirky reading my numbers I almost sound like the guy reading the bingo b7 b8 here you know so that's I don't think we're gonna have that many points as we did on our last one luckily the dive rock oh we're on number 20 Forgot no, what number we're on, folks. It's important to go around and double check that all these numbers are right. So, what I'm going to do here now, the dive rock is real, you know, it's kind of rough in the end, but it's 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 rectangular shape. So I'm able to kind of draw a little line right here, and we'll mark that 22. And I'll do the same thing on the other side over here as I trip on the rock. But I'll make another mark here. We'll call this 23. So what I'll do is in my drawing that I'm going to make in a little bit here, I'll I'll spe I'll specify in the drawing that those two points represent the dive rock. So we're almost done making our points. And then we'll start making our drawing and then once we're done making the drawing we can actually start reading off these numbers I'm going to do this one which is 22 and then I'm going to do one more here is 23 and then I got to go around and do the back side of the dive rock but I just want to make sure that all these numbers continuously were the pool so now I'll just kind of go around one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So basically, I just want to make sure that all my numbers are correct and I didn't miss any. So our last number on the pool is 23. Or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, 26, 27. What did I do here? 24, 25, 26. This is 27, folks, not 21. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's a good one. I wanted I wanted so bad to finish on Michael Jordan 23. All right, so now we got our right numbers now, but that's why you go around and check them, folks, you know. You know, you got to you got to check yourself. Measure twice, cut once. All right. So, we finished on 29. So the back side of this rock looks to be right about here. All right, so we're going to call this point 30. The point to this rock is here. We're going to call it 31. So when they when they add these points in, it's going to kind of draw a little little notched corner in the back here and it's going to be a little square rock. We'll give them the height of that rock and uh, it'll be a pretty pretty easy make for them so i gotta i gotta make a drawing so let's all go to the shallow end together and uh watch steve make a drawing you know i'm not the best artist in the world by any means folks but i always stand in the shallow end so that i'm looking at the pool this way and um you know basically it just kind of comes around Steep thing here, comes around, comes around, comes in more, all right? We know that the dive rock is flush with the edge of the pool. It had a little notch corner on the back of it like that. We know that our A point is over here. Our B point is over here. We draw in what we do. What did we choose? 23, right, Michael Jordan? 
So we definitely, we definitely want to cross check that. Oh, they didn't give me that that page here. I'm gonna have to go to the truck and get a get a measurement page. That's okay. So we know that one is here. This is one, two, three. We come over here. We know that nine and ten are the back side of this little bump out here. We know that we know that 13 is where the little bump out is here. We're coming to the deep end. We know that 17 and 18 are here. Okay. We come over here to where the dive rock is. It's 23 and 22 on the front side. It's 30 and 31 on the back side. And maybe we'll give them one more little measurement here. We'll say that 27 is over here somewhere. All right, so that's the drawing that I make. You know, I have a copy of the print. I don't know if you can see that in the fit in the photo there, but that's actually a copy of the print. But I always do my own drawing when I'm doing my own ABs. And uh, I got to go to the truck, folks. So I'm going to have Tom just kind of record the pool a little bit while I go get this. And uh, I got to get an AB measuring sheet off my clipboard or off my uh, dashboard and uh, we'll be getting to going here in a second here okay I got that distance to A to B was 23 feet and I got my paperwork And we're coming back. Try to step over this fence. Oh. oh, I almost fell. It's too bad I didn't fall. Okay, so I got my sheet. A to B. I'm going to go around, start filling everything out. Before I begin, just want to double check that I was 23 feet to A to B. Yes, okay. Never know. Here we go. A to 1. I'm going to kind of bring my tape measure over yonder here. Alright, folks. Steve got a pool here for another episode of A, B, Bingo. A, B, bingo. A to one, folks. A to one. Eight foot, four and a half. Eight foot, four and a half. Number two. A to two. A to two. Ten foot, three and a half. Ten foot, three and a half. A to three. A to three. A to three. Twelve foot, ten and a half. Twelve foot, ten and a half. Number four. Eight of four, folks. Eight of four. If you hit a bingo, yell it out, please. 18 1. 18 1. What do we call a bingo? An even number. If you hit an even number, yell bingo. Leave that bingo in the comments, folks. If we hit a whole number, measuring around, we yell bingo. We write, we write bingo. Here we go. Number five. Number five. 21. Nine and a half. 21 foot, 9 and a half. Shooting 6, 8 to 6. 8 to 6, 22, 1 and a half. 22 foot, 1 and a half. Number 7. 22, 7 and 3 quarter. 22 foot, 7 and 3 quarter. We're going to number 8 now. We're close, folks. We're close. Not quite. 24, 1 and a quarter. 24 foot, 1 and a quarter. We're going to number nine, eight to nine. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing? Let me know how you're doing. 25, seven and a quarter. 25 foot, seven and a quarter. 10, eight to 10. Eight, 10, eight, 10, Warhawk. 
Oh, folks, we are so close. 26 and a half of an inch. 26 foot and a half of an inch. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't give it away. I can't call it out. It just was not quite there. Was not quite the bingo, folks. We're on number 11. We're on number 11, folks. This is 25, three and a half. 25 foot, three and a half. Number 12. Number 12, folks, 25 foot even. Bingo. Folks, we have a bingo. We have a bingo. 13. 13, folks. 13, folks. 26, seven and three quarters. 26 foot, seven and three quarters. If you're just chiming in, we're playing Steve Got It Pool Bingo. Steve Got It Pool Bingo, folks. Object of the game. If you hear me yell out a whole number, you type in bingo. You comment bingo. This is 14. Folks, so close. 29, 11 and a half. 29 foot, 11 and a half, folks. We just can't do it. We're on 15. 15 is 33 foot 4. 33 foot 4, folks. 16 here. 8 is 16, folks. 8 is 16, folks. What we got? 36, 6 and 3 quarter. 36 foot, 6 and 3 quarters. 17. 17, folks. 8 is 17. Taking the twist out of the tape. 8 is 17. 8 is 17. 39, 1 and 3 quarter. 39 foot, 1 and 3 quarter. 8 is 18. 8 to 18, folks. We're about slightly more than halfway there. We've got one bingo so far, folks. What do we got now? 8 to 18, folks. Folks, this is this is the beautiful... Folk, folks, 40 foot even here. 4-0, folks. Bingo. Okay. We've got two bingos, folks. Steve's got it. Pool bingo. we got two bingos. 39 foot 4. 39 foot 4. 8 to 20. What do we got on 8 to 20? 8 to 20. Folks. 8 to 20, folks. 37 foot even. 37 foot even. Do I hear? Bingo. 8 to 21, folks. Folks, this is an epic, epic game of Steve Got It Pool here. You're going to want to watch all the way, folks. We have had many bingos in this game already. 8 to 21. 8 to 21. 34 foot 2. 34 foot 2. 22. 22, folks. 31. 3 and a half. 31. 3 and a half. Now, let's take a break to talk about our dive rock. I just want to specify on my paperwork that these two points are in fact a dive rock. Thank you very much. Please conclude. Folks, we're back here. Steve got a pool bingo. We're on number 23. We are on number 23, folks. 29, five and a half. 29 foot, five and a half. Here we have 25, six and a half, 25 foot, six and a half, folks. Number 25, eight at 25. We're coming in and hitting 29, 21, 10 and a half, 21, 10 and a half, 21 foot, 10 and a half, folks. Number 26, eight at 26 is... 17, 9 and a quarter. 17 foot 9 and a quarter. Hmm. Only a couple more here. Folks. 13, 7 and a quarter. 13 foot 7 and a quarter. Here we have number 28, folks. 8 to 28. 8 foot 8 and a half. 8 foot 8 and a half. Very last number on the pool. Tape measures reading straight, and we have seven foot one and a half. 
Now we must do the two points on the back side of the dive rock. Excuse me. Number 30. For those of you watching, entertaining, enjoying, my birthday is on September 30th. Would love to hit a thousand subscribers by then. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Here we have 30 foot, five and a half. 30 foot, five and a half, folks. Last A, 31 is, we're going 30 foot, 32, two and a quarter. 32, two and a quarter. Folks, this is intermission time. If you uh, are watching and you need to use the restroom or hydrate yourself, we need to change our measuring point from A to B. Soft music playing. People going, using the restroom. Please. We need to be ready in 10 seconds, folks. Can I have the producer? Screen two, screen two. Screen two. Okay, folks, we are gonna be live. We're gonna be back on. Steve got it pulled, folks. Make sure that point is lined up. Steve got it pulled, bingo, folks. And one, three, two, one. We're back live. How's everybody doing? We're back. Back from commercial. This is Steve Got It Pool. Bingo, folks. We are on B. We have gone from A to B, folks. We are now on B. During the B, to recap, we had a total of three bingos, I believe, folks. If you hit all three bingos, folks, I need to see all three bingos in the comments. Now... We're going to open up our tape measure a little bit more. This is the bonus round, folks. If you hit a bingo in the B round, not only do you win the bingo, you win an additional bingo. Each bingo in the B round is double, but you must specify B bingo. You must type in B bingo. Steve got it pulled, bingo. We are on B1. B1. 23, two and a half. 23 foot, two and a half. B to two. B to two, 27, seven and three quarters. 27 foot, seven and three quarters. B to three. B to three. B to three. B to three. 32 foot even. Folks, 32 foot even. Do I bingo? We are on B4. That bingo, folks, right there is worth two points. 36. Three and three quarters. 36 foot three and three quarters. Folks, we are on point five. B to 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 five. 37, one and a half, 37 foot, one and a half. No bingo, no bingo. Let's move my tape measure out a little bit more. I'm sorry, the producer says I'm taking too long. Uh, B6, B6, folks, B6, 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 34, four and a half, 34 foot, four and a half. B7, B7, 33, 33, 2, B7, 33, 2, B8, B8, 32, 9 and a quarter, 32 foot, 9 and a quarter reported, B9, B9, 32, 7 and a half, 32 foot, 7 and a half, B10, 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 folks, 31 foot even, folks. 31 foot even on the B bingo. I heard you back there. B bingo, I heard you. Okay, B11. 
B11. B11. This is epic, ladies and gentlemen. This, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first recording of this show. Folks, we just hit a record. 29 foot even for B11. 29 foot for B11. I hear no bingo. 26 and a half of an inch, folks. 26 foot and a half of an inch. This is an epic, epic, epic battle. Who can finish it out? 24. Six and three quarter. 24 foot six and three quarters. Folks, B14. 25-3. I'm feeling the suspense. I'm feeling the suspenseful music in the background, folks. I think it's a good time to retrieve our tape measure and reposition. Okay, folks. B15. 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 To B15 again. Uh-oh. Folks. Folks, the, the host of the show is, is having the tape measure stuck in his, in his splits. Can we get that under control, please? Yes, B15. Uh, something's wrong with the guy. Uh, he just keeps getting the tape measure hooked up. Right, let's keep going. Can we keep rolling, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I apologize, everybody, for the delay in the game. We are almost there. We have an a, a epic record. Let's finish it out. Let's finish it out with 27 one, 27 foot one inches, folks. 16, B16, B16. Close, but no cigar at 28 and three quarters of an inch. 20, oh boy, could you imagine? One more would just totally, totally be epic. Never been done before, never. Never have we had five already, I believe is the total number. I'm not quite sure, folks, we're gonna have to check. Let's see, 27, six and a quarter. Folks, we have, we have, we have uh, unofficial records coming in from different sources. Uh, our sources are saying that there might be six. We'll we will have to double check, folks. This is B, B, B18, 25, 25, nine, 25 foot nine. Folks, we're on B19. B19, folks, 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 you're never going to believe what I'm reading right now. Folks, the record number, folks, the record number, 23 foot even, folks, Michael Jordan breaking the record. Unbelievable. The man is a legend. We're measuring over a rock. We're eyeing it down to 1810. 18 foot 10, folks. This is unbelievable, folks. This is totally epic. We have had a possible unofficial numbers coming in at possibly seven whole numbers in our in our episode of Steve Got It Full Bingo on its on its inaugural run of the show, folks. This is this is unprecedented. B21, folks. Here we are. Here we are. We have 15, one and a half, folks. Folks, this is so close. We are coming down to the wire. The final minutes, the final seconds. What will we have? Folks, folks, I don't know what to say. Folks, we have 12 foot, 12 foot even. 12 foot even, folks. 12 foot even. Folks, if you're keeping track, you, you know, folks, what just happened there. Oh my goodness. 10 foot, four and a half. 10 foot, four and a half. Folks, folks, it seems our host is, is hyperventilating. Folks, it seems our host is, is asking for the back of the rock to be measured so he does not have to measure back. We're going to do that for him on point number 30. Folks, nine foot, seven and a half. Nine foot, seven and a half for point number 30. Folks, folks, 11 foot three. 11 foot three. Folks, I'm literally counting down six measurements left. What's it going to be? Are we going to continue to break records? Are we not? Point 24, B24, folks. What do we have? Folks, eight foot, three and a quarter. It's not quite there. Not quite there, folks. Point 25, B to 25, folks. Listen in. Listening in, we have eight foot, one and three quarters. Eight foot, 
one and three quarters, folks. Folks, we are coming down to the final round, the final numbers. This is the end of the show. The show is going to be ending soon. The prizes are going to be ending soon. Our tape measure is, is rattled all over the place. This is just an unprecedented total amounts of, of action going on. I just, I don't know what to say, folks. I'm, oh, I need to take a minute. Okay. This is exciting. I'm, ex I'm excited, folks. I've, I've never had, I believe, seven, what was it, seven or eight now. Oh, we're going to have to get official numbers at the end of the show. Official numbers will be revealed in the description of this video. If you get them all right, if you are the first one to comment how many whole numbers were received in this video, you will be revealed later what you win. We are on number 26. We are on number 26. Eight foot, four and a half. Three more to go. Eight foot, four and a half. With three more to go. Number 27, folks. The 27. 10 foot, three and a half. 10 foot, three and a half. Two more to go, folks. Cross diagonals do not count. However, however, the creator of the show just made a decision. Cross diagonals do count in this round. Cross diagonals will be times three. Times three. If you hit a whole number in the bonus round, that is three points. Three points. Number 28. Number 28. 15, two and three quarters. 15 foot two and three quarters, folks. This is the last one of the bonus round. The times two bonus round. Round one was single points. Round two is double points. We are on number 29. 29. 19, eight and a quarter. Not quite there. 19 foot eight and a quarter. Okay. Now, we go to our cross diagonal page. We place our bucket and pin on a specific point read measurements, place the bucket on another specific point, and read those measurements. If anybody hits cross diagonal whole numbers, bonus points are times, th times three. One to eight. If you find this game show interesting, I would like to make it interactive for the bonus round where viewers can chime in and give me certain numbers that are meaningful to them and I will measure from those points in future videos and recognize you in the video we're going 1 to 15 the purpose of this show the fur the purpose of this show is to make this interactive with you with me so far we have 1 to 8 1 to 15 1 to 23 at the conclusion of that round, we will we will measure off of point eight. We will go eight to twenty three. We will go eight to one. We did already eight to one, sir. I apologize, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Twenty eight then. Eight to twenty eight will be our number. We will do one more. This will be the final measurement taking. And Steve got it pool bingo. We will be measuring from point 19 to point four. If you hit the final measurement on a whole number, five points will be received. So if you're behind on the count, fear not, you could win by telling me bingo. And specify that it was on the last one. You must specify the points that they were measured from. You must tell me which point I measured from. And that goes for all the measurements. Please make this easier for me. I'm trying to make this exciting. We'll work it out together. But to make this truly legal, each round, round one, round two, please tell me which points I were measuring from. 
that you hit the bingo and I will be able to confirm. This is point one. Now these right here are all just times three. These are cross diagonals from point number one. Stay with us folks. This is this is the bonus round. Everything must be prepared properly. To ensure everything is ran smoothly during the recording of the show. We are gonna be live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Hi, we're live. This is this is the third round of Steve Got It Pool. If you're just tuning in, you've missed round one, you've missed round two. This is round three. Point one to 23, folks. All bingos. 26-9, no bingo. 26-9, no bingo. You must tell me. The points I am measuring from, you must tell me which round it was done in. And we're going to see who wins. 1 to 15. 1 to 15, folks. These are times 3 points. In the cross diagonal round, 26, 2 and a quarter, folks. 26 foot 2 and a quarter. No bingo. 1 to 8. One to eight, bonus round. Fifteen, ten and a quarter. Fifteen foot, ten and a quarter. Folks, it is not looking good. Folks, it is not looking good at all. We only have a couple points left. Our host is tripping on the tape measure. He's checking measurements. He's making sure that he put them in the right location. Folks. Folks, this is this is upsetting. We have three measurements to go. We're in the bonus round. We have people locked in a tie neck and neck. We have people that are counting on this final measurement. They need these five points. Can it happen? Can it happen? Yet to be determined. Two measurements will be taken from point number eight. These are still considered th third round points. Measurements from point eight are only worth three points. There will be two measurements taken from this point. You must Comment bingo with what points you measured from and what round it was. Here we are, folks. We have 8 to 28 and 8 to 23. We're going to go to Michael Jordan first, folks. Folks, we're going to go from 8 to 23. This is the moment, folks. Everything comes down to these final measurements. The final conclusion of our show. Steve got it full bingo. Two measurements to go. Three measurements to go. The reading is 31 foot two. No bingo, folks. Eight to 28. You're still alive. We're still alive, folks. It has happened before. It can happen again. This is the last measurement in the third round. What do we have? It comes down to 22, two and a quarter. 22 foot, two and a quarter. That is not going to do it, folks. Not to fear. Not to fear, folks. The show is not over. We have one, folks, one more measurement. This measurement here is worth five points 
if we hit a bingo on this measurement, you must comment bingo. You must comment the points that they were measured from. And you must comment what round it was achieved in. Nothing about this is set up, folks. These pins are set on the exact spot that they were measured from. One measurement to go, folks. Point number four to point number 19. Worth five points. Let's talk about what you win. Folks, what you win is recognition in a video and if this actually works and takes off and people like this show and it's interactive with everybody we'll figure out better prizes and uh, as the first winner of the show you would receive whatever prizes we had in the future as far as recognition free shirts, free t-shirts, things of that nature. I think that's what I'd like to do. What I'd like to do is the winner of the show, I'd like to send them a Julian Pools t-shirt. I don't quite know how to get in touch with anybody uh, through through that YouTube or email or stuff, but I'll, we could figure it out. So let's just say that if you're the winner of this show, I'll send you a Julianos t-shirt and uh, you must be the the first person recognized as the with the most amount of points in the bingo you must have watched the entire video and uh, the rules to the video are explained in the video so if you don't fully understand please watch the entire video folks we are at 4 to 19 this is the final measurement of the show worth five points it's real close folks F folks this is this is close folks folks as we're coming down this, this might happen. It could happen, folks. Oh my goodness, folks. 0. 0.40. 44 is the, is the target number that we're looking for. Come and zoom in on this exciting moment, please. As we come down, if this 44 touches that point, it's five points. Oh, it was right there. Folks, we have to call it 44-1. We have no no bingo on this one, folks. Folks, I had fun. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let's do it again sometime. Let's get some comments. Let's get some interaction going. Steve got it pool. Thanks.